Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today, let's play some Dynamo. So here I have this very simple um, script. Um, so and also here is a messing. So previously we did some uh, shell shape, if you remember. So so this one's have a better um, path. So you just that's very small spot. So and you can change the size of this shape so the post uh, and also here you can make it longer yeah okay so let's start so first um, I'll close this one and also I'll create a new I'll close this one Okay, so so first create create a new conceptual mess and go to uh, manage Dynamo. So first, I'm going to draw some. So I'll, I'll redo this one. Okay, so I draw. A, so a sketch so this will be roughly um, the spline we need to create but before that we will create a circle okay so to create this circle so I'll just draw this X X and Y here so we need all these points there and if so let's say this point this is the radius this point will need this X and this Y and we can work out the X and Y from the radius this here and the angle A so and the formula will be X equals sine A times R Y equals cosine A times R. Okay, so now let's start. So go new. Um, let's uh, double click here. So and just turn. Um, let me just have a look. Check. Um, see. Okay, so I'll say three thirty thousand. Okay, so here typing three zero 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 zero. And this will be R. Double click and you can change the name. So I'll change this to menu as well. So now what we need is we have a radius. Now we A. We need A. A is from um, a list of all the different numbers. So, so double click. A start from 10 degrees and finish at uh, let's say 7, 720. Or maybe 360 for now okay I'll change it later and every um, 10 degrees so if I run so we will have this list start from 10 to 360 and uh, now we need uh, now we need sine and cosine so right click SIN sine and right click cosine COS US. So now we have these two. So angle connect angle connect. So if I run, we'll have two lists. So this is on and then we need to uh, multiply. So on the math, this one. <coughs> Control C, Control V, and okay. So now run. We will have this will be X, and this will be Y. Okay. So now we have X and Y. We can have we can create the points. 
So go to geometry, point, point, x, y, and x, link, x, y, and then run. So we'll see all these points. Um, so the next next step is because uh, all these uh, points have the same uh, with the same radius. So what we can do is we uh, create create a list. So double click and uh, maybe three um, three hundred two three thirty thousand every uh, three hundred. And let's see. That's one hundred points. That's fine. So and then I'll link break this one and link to that. Break this one, link to that, and uh, run. So now we have these <coughs> points, and because that although that that's one hundred one hundred a uh, number here, because we only have thirty six here. So what we can do is. If we like, for example, one uh, seventy seven uh, seven seven twenty, and uh, we will have more points here. So um, now let's try to um, let's try to change something here because he, if you see all these points and all these return to make the spline. It, it is very easy to break the mess when you do the sweep. Okay, so we try to um, move these points away from this here, so move them to about here. So which means first, we might need to increase this. Okay, let's try three, third, three, uh, three thousand, and run. So now, yeah, it's better, I think. So, and also, um, we need to. Create a um, a slider, a, a slider. So right click and in, in the slider, and this one, I'll make make three start from um, three thousand, and maybe finish at nine on every one thousand. So I will use this slider to control this one, okay? And I also need another slider, so um, probably not another slider, but another number to control this. So when it's when up when it's three thousand, this thirty thousand, when it's five thousand, it becomes fifty thousand. So what we can do is just do a multiply. So go to uh, map time uh, this one, and I'll just put ten here. So and x to here. So if I run, so I'll get this 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 number always um, ten times of this. So what I can do is go here, change that to x, change this to y. And then link this to X, link this to this. So now if I drag this, if you oh, uh, I'll change that to automatic. And then we'll say, so see, this will change the size of this uh, spline. Okay. <clears throat> so and also um, here I'll create another inter slider. So I'll just copy that one. Control V, drag here. And I'll change this. Um, maybe start from 180 degree. Finish at um, 720. Let's just 720 for now. And also every one degree. So this. So start from 180 to 720. And then I'll swap this. I'll change this x. And then link this to this. So now if I drag this. You will see all the points starting from one half circle, no, 180 degree, and then go to uh, 720. So you can increase if you like, and also this one you can do even make it 
even bigger or even smaller but yeah so that's 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 pretty much all the points so now let's go back to here so we have all these points and then we need to create a spline so go back to geometry um, curves um, to be honest I don't know what the difference are so all the like a uh, different poly curve, nerves curve, all the curve but I use this one, this one works so yeah and then I'll click this one and then link uh, I'll change that to manual for now okay so so you can see that's a lot here if I go so that's nice one but you, you, won't, you won't be able to select it you know same you can't select this so we need to model model this curve so M O D E model curve C U R so by curve and then link again and then run so now you have this nice uh, spline here and also it's a model line and you can check this one so become a spline oh reference line so you can create a, uh, a sweep on this okay so now what we need to do is I'll just quickly place some profile so uh, I'll make a pick place point and another point on top of this point and then another another point on this one okay so three points here CC and then I'll place another uh, uh, pick new holes and probably pick it here and now create a uh, spline reference line same here spline, spline and the reference line okay so now I can select these two spline and together with this uh, path create form so now and then you can select this point put it on one and this one let's try um, zero okay so hope it works yep oh, good so yeah when when the, this point is close to here it might uh, break this but for now it's looking good so just move that so if you like you can also um, adding some um, parameters or control you can control it in dyno but uh, um, today I'm just mainly um, to show you how to create this as uh, this uh, a spline, a spline a path okay <coughs> so now we have this shape nice shell shape and then <coughs> if you go back here so let's say try to adjust the side oh sorry more automatic so you can see you can ah, yeah so because it's all the, the these uh, profiles too close to um, to here so when you reduce the size it might break break your break your sweep so if I just change the profile a little bit so it might solve the issue so, and also probably because that's in here it's too um, maybe just need to make just some adjustment and then yeah better better yeah yes so i think it's sometimes when this point you can just because i put it in very in, in zero so even you can start from uh, 0.1 so not instead of start from this you can just start a little bit here so it will reduce the poss possibility to it, see break and also if you can always trying to adjust these profiles so and them so make them less 
break for okay good so and also the other um the other one side so lines here so this one yeah yeah and if if we want to let's try them Okay, <clears throat> yeah, break a little bit, see. But yeah, have a play yourself and I'll, I'll save this file. So it's very simple um, exercise. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, st I'm still like a s learning this. So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, okay, I'll see you next time.